guys are the only ones from your team that can help any of the other groups. So 10th grade cannot be at 3rd and 4th grade station helping you. Okay? That's for Yes. Or you can nominate somebody from your group to go do that. Okay? Whoever is sitting with the 1st or 2nd grade, you guys are going to stay there. You don't need to worry about going with the other group. Okay? Um, then for 5th and 6th, they'll have a frisbee and a hula hoop. One of those hula hoops and then a frisbee. They have to do both. Okay? Um, seventh grade, they're going to measure the tire um, at the bottom of the tether ball. Court. Okay, the tire. There's a tire that holds the tether ball. That's what they're measuring. Okay, so that's seventh and eighth grade. They just have that. They can work on that together. Um, and then ninth and tenth, they'll have a balloon of their color and then one of the actual tether balls. That's those are the two. They're finding surface area and volume of those. All the formulas are right here. But surface area is when you have a sphere, you don't find the circumference of it. Or you don't find, you find the surface you area. Instead of circumference. For spheres. So this would be considered a sphere. When, you're, when the team is measuring, they want to measure it this way. So when you, they should work together, so you should say, okay, this is kind of how you guys should do it. So take this, measure it around this way, this part. This, whatever it is, and the balloon, they may be very similar, but not all the exact same. So what does that say? And then we have to add. Okay, so 32. So 32 centimeters. That is, so if you That's were to draw it, area. if you were to draw this, right? So if the diameter, if it goes across, this is the 32. Centimeters, so then the radius would be 16. Because remember, the radius is half of the diameter. So once you measure the outside, that's going to be your diameter, and then you'll be able to get the radius. Because for surface area, your formula is 4 pi r squared. So you can't use 32, you need to use 16. Does that make sense? Yes. For the result of Circumference, we have square. No. Oh, circumference is the only one with just centimeters. Well, circumference is the only one. And area? Area is squared mm -hmm. and volume is three. If you look with on the formulas, on the formulas right at the top, all the circumference is just R, right? Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. So think of that when you're doing your answers. Okay. For both of the different areas, there's R squared. So think of that, that's going to be your, uh-huh, and then for volume, it's going to be RQ, and that should be your final little number. Yes? Who is going to check that? You are. <laughs> Lisa. And for, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure all the answers are correct, but I'm going to give you a sheet of all the answers for you to check before. Yes? And for example, imagine if, for if, if you not... 69.5, we round it to 70? Yes. 70? Yes. Okay. Remember when the number in the decimal is 5 or higher, you're going to round up. Okay. So you, I want all whole numbers. That's just going to make it easier so we don't have to worry about tens and all that. Okay? So remember, the first team, um, and then hopefully we will have our place with the candies at the bottom. So the first and second graders, whoever does that first. If we don't get that, then um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have somebody hula hooping, and then one of the second graders have to sit on the balloon and pop it, just in case we don't get the whipped cream. So those are the other options that we're gonna have at the end. Very good. Yeah. So because if they can do this, well, no, that means. One of you are going to have to do the hula hoop. Wow. Yeah, that'll be the end if we don't do the whipped cream. That's just if, in case we don't get the whipped cream. Okay? So at the end, whoever is with the first grader, you guys have the hula hoop, and you got to get your first or second grader to pop the balloon, and then that's how you win. <laughs> okay? And so that's the, uh, that's the alternative ending. Yes. And what's the possibility that we have that cream? Um, well, Don Erico is, is, is going to really try and get that for us, let's really beg him. Let's beg him. Yeah, please! please. <laughs> <laughs> he has it on tape, so now he, he has to do it. <laughs> okay, any questions?
questions on what we're gonna do. Yes. Let's do it, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. today? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I knew. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yes, it's today. So right at the beginning, I'm gonna give you guys. Um, I'm gonna have you guys hold the balloons with strings so you can know. Red team. Everybody knows that are that are on your list to go in the in the middle, and so then you'll just go and grab your team. Um, during fifth period, the period before lunch, I'm going to be outside setting everything up. Okay? Do you need help with that? Um, I'm going to have ninth grade help me because that's huh. my class name. Huh. I want to help. <laughs> what class do you guys have? Idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ms. Grayson? If she says it's okay. okay. Only, only, only if she says it's okay. 